All right, what's up everyone? What's up everyone? Today, we're gonna to be doing a glow ring. I've heard the comments, I've been listening to you all. It's time for a glow ring. So today, we are gonna be using the wonderful material sent to us by Turbo Carbon, or Carbon Waves, his website, carbonwaves.com. He sells some really cool materials. He specializes in carbon fiber. So you can see here, he's got all these different exotic materials. So he sells them on his Etsy page. I'm also hopefully very soon going to be having these on my supplies website, and that's just patrickadairsupplies.com. And these will be made by Carbon Wave. So they're gonna be his same high quality. He's got a void free guarantee, all of that. So this is the best stuff on the market. He calls it luxury grade. So we're going to be using this lava colored glow rod. So I'll be machining this down and this will make the liner of the ring. So the inside of it will glow. It's gonna look really cool. And then the outside, I think we'll do a titanium infused piece of carbon fiber. So he's got all these different materials. You can see he's got like brass and copper, stainless steel. And they're really interesting because they have like this one's coppery color, this brass has that gold color to it. And so very cool materials. They're infused with just that powderized form. And the titanium, to be honest, I'm just doing that because I think it's gonna make a better YouTube title, a titanium infused carbon fiber ring that glows. Like, that sounds pretty cool to me. So that's why we're doing that. Some of these other materials, these look awesome as well. And this is definitely an experimental ring, so I'm not sure about offering it on the website, but as always, I'm very open to your guys' feedback. So let me know what you think. I might be able to put it up on there for you guys if I really like the way this turns out. But for the process of this, I'm going to put this in the lathe. I'm going to cut it down to the diameter that we want and then we'll be taking a piece of this titanium carbon fiber here, and then we'll be cutting out a blank of that. And we'll actually cut out the carbon fiber first, and then we'll match this to that size. And so we'll essentially be creating a really small ring on the lathe with this, and then a larger ring to fit over it, and we'll combine the two, polish it up, make it look really nice, and we'll do some really cool glow shots, things like that. So make sure to stick around for the end, because I'm gonna have some really good pictures for this one. All right, so we've got our piece of carbon fiber clamped up on the drill press here. I've got a diamond hole saw in here. By the way, if you're getting into ring making, I should have these on my supplies website very soon. And then I'll be using, this is just alcohol in here. The only reason I use it over water is because it creates less rust on my tools. But I'm just going to spray a little on there and then we'll just go ahead and get started. Okay, now to hollow this out, I'll be clamping it in the lathe jaws. And you can see here, this little quick change tool. This is a boring bar. And this material is actually soft enough that we can skip any of the center drilling. And we can just go straight into plunging this into the material. Should cut just fine. And so we'll do the inside how we want it, and then we'll size up the outside using a similar process, but I'm going to be using this bit. So I'll put it on the quick change tool post here, and then we'll cut it down at this angle. Okay, now we've got the glow rod cut to the size we need. You can see the carbon fiber piece. It fits just perfectly on here. So what I'll do now is I'll just take this hacksaw and I'm going to cut through here and then we're gonna combine both pieces together using some CA glue and the Arbor Press. I think that's good for audio. You guys can go ahead. Arbiter press. Arbiter. The Master Chief press. Mm -hmm. Just slip that right in there. The Arbiter press. You need to show a picture. 1% <laughs> of viewers were to understand. Yep. That would make all the difference. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so we just used the Arbor Press and combined both of the materials. You can see it's a really nice fit. And so now I will be taking out the glow rod, and then I'm putting this expanding ring mandrel on the lathe. And just so you know, I get it in every single comment section of every one of my YouTube videos of people asking where to get these. These will be on my ring supply website very soon. So like I've said earlier, you can go to the site, sign up for the email newsletter, and we'll be sure to let you know when they're available. Now I just put that on here. Then when I tighten this screw, it expands the teeth on this, and it'll grab onto the ring. There we go, now I need to check if it's centered. It looks like it's a little bit off. There, that's better. So now I'll just be trimming it up and getting it to the final physical dimensions that we want. And then from there, it's just gonna be smoothing out the edges, polishing everything up, and then it'll be finished. Okay, now we need to sand and polish it. You saw I sanded it down with the Dremel just a bit. That was to get rid of any of the voids or fraying or any of the issues caused by cutting it with the actual lathe cutter. So that sanded it down. This should be perfectly smooth. No voids or anything like that. Now I'm going to be using sandpaper and I'm actually going to leave this at a bit of a satin finish. I'm not going to polish it all the way. Carbon fiber can look really nice polished, but it also has an interesting and what I think is pretty cool look when it's less polished, a bit more of a matte finish. So we're gonna go with that for this one. Let me know what you think of it though in the comments. Let me know if you'd prefer it polished or whatever. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I've got this all the way polished. I took it up to a really high polish. You can see how reflective it is there. I think that'll really help bring out that infused titanium. So now this next step that I'm going to take is I'm actually going to wrap the whole thing in electric tape. That'll protect that finish that we just spent so long putting on the ring. Just getting it right up on the edge here. Then I'll need to trim up this edge here. Just using a razor blade for that. Now the final step that we'll be taking, first obviously got to take this off the mandrel, then we got to take care of the inside. So you can see that's still really scratched up in there. So I'm going to put it in the jaws carefully because even though I've got this electric tape on it, I still don't want to damage that finish in any way. And so I'll just carefully put it in the jaws and then once again, we'll just use all of our different grits of sandpaper and then take it to a really high polish. So this whole thing's gonna be nice and glossy and it should give it a really nice professional look to it when we're done. And so far, I think this ring's looking really promising. It's gonna totally transform when we do the sanding on the inside and then the glow. Wait till you see the glow. That's gonna be where this ring really pops. Like you've seen me do a thousand times before, I'm just starting with 220 grit sandpaper and we'll be going all the way up to about 1200 and then I'll switch to the polishing compounds and then we'll be finished. Okay, so we got this side of the ring finished. Now we need to flip it over. You can see this side is still, it's got a hard edge on it. So we need to take care of that. So again, just carefully clamping it in the jaws, not too tight. Then we'll start off with the rough sandpaper, try to round off this harsh edge here, and then go all the way up through all the different grits. And then I'm using two different polishing compounds. That's what I have on the paper towel. Right, this is kind of like the grand reveal. Let me wash this off really quick. Still haven't seen it glowing yet, but here's what it looks like in the daytime. Have glow shots in a second. Ooh, and there it is. That's really cool. I love that bold contrast. It's almost like a hot red color. It's not quite pink. It's a really nice red color, super bright. And it's kind of hidden on the inside, so it's pretty subtle. Just a little kind of peek at the red. And then of course in the dark, it'd be glowing then secretly on the inside you got a super bright red liner so I like that it's kind of a flashy ring without being obnoxious and you can see that titanium infused in there that really kind of adds a sparkle to it that 
It makes it really interesting to look at. It kind of accentuates the carbon fiber weave to it. And you can kind of get a better look at how the actual material itself is stacked up in there. So it makes it a lot of fun to look at. But I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's go ahead and jump right into the glow shots. Here's a video. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot that you guys come and watch my videos every week. If you are interested in making rings like this, I've got two links for you. So down below in the description, there's a link to Carbon Waves' Etsy page. That's where you can get those exotic carbon fiber materials. He does so many different infusions in his carbon fiber. He makes them glow, a ton of different things like that. And then I'll have a second link to my supplies website. The plan is to get some of his materials on there. So we're actually working together to try to come out with some creator kits so that we can make making carbon fiber rings like that really easy. So check both those places out on my supplies website. Make sure to sign up for the newsletter. That'll notify you when we actually do come out with those materials. And as always, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I know I hit this in every single video, but I seriously do like as many of you guys over there as I can get. It's a much smaller community, so I'm able to reply to a lot more of the comments, and it's a lot of fun interacting with you guys. And it's also a good chance for you guys to see some of the behind the scenes stuff we do here. And then finally, I've got these three cards that just showed up on your screen here. Below me, that's a link to my website where you can purchase rings. On the right, you see that PAD logo there. It's just that circle. You click that, you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. And down in this bottom corner, corner here, that is a video of mine that YouTube, using their algorithm, has recommended specifically for you. So it's a video of mine that they think you'd like the best. So check those all out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.